Now, a series of both new and modified weapons and armored vehicles have been delivered to the ground forces of the Iranian army. Now, addressing the ceremony, commander of the Iranian army's ground forces said that Iran uses cutting-edge technologies for designing and manufacturing some of its defense equipment. Here's our Amir Mehdi Kazemi with a report for you. The Iranian army says that more than three decades of the arms embargoes may have created difficulties for the country's defense sector, but it has also provided Iran with an opportunity to develop homegrown weapons. Here in Tehran, a series of weapons and armored vehicles that were either built or modified by Iranian experts were delivered to the army ground forces less than a week to the National Army Day. During the ceremony, commander of the Iranian Army's ground forces, Brigadier General Ahmad Reza Purdastan, said that today the distance between idea and the final product is shorter than ever. Today we are able to design and manufacture many of our operational requirements in the shortest possible time, and this accelerating progress has enabled us to have dominance on our borders while boosting our strength against possible threats. The arms include sniper rifles equipped with the latest night vision cameras, super heavy tank carriers, self-propelled howitzer cannons and air defense units, armored personnel carriers and this high-tech insulated armored vehicle. The Shahram armored vehicle is one of the unveiled products which according to the Iranian army has been completely designed and built by Iranian experts. This mobile laboratory is capable of testing the amount of radioactive chemical and biological warfare material in contaminated areas. The Iranian army already has an eight-year combat experience from the 1980 to 1988 Iraq-Iran war. After the 1979 Islamic Revolution, Iran was faced with an arms embargo from the U.S. and its allies. That was when the first ideas of self-reliance and defense began to emerge in the country. The current infrastructure of the Army's ground forces have changed. New and innovative design and engineering has enabled us to respond to the tactical requirements of the force, at least for the next decade. April 17 marks the Army Day in Iran. The military force is expected to show a wide range of its homegrown products on the occasion. Ami Mehdi Kazemi, Press TV, Tehran.